This is Alex from AE Hawker Web Studios and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to make sure that your WordPress website sends emails reliably every single time within one or two seconds using your free Gmail account. You've probably encountered the very common problem where you set everything up in your website and you've configured emails to send maybe through a contact form or through a WooCommerce online store and the emails may come through sporadically or not at all. Uh, I've tried many workarounds for this on my site and my client's site and I finally found the one solution which work, works perfectly every time. The cause for it is most likely your host. So hosts are notorious for being used by spammers to send out a lot of spam email and so they get filtered out along the way and either don't make it or sometimes make it. So this process is very easy and it's free and I'm going to walk you through it very quickly. Uh, today. If you'd prefer to read this, it is available on my blog. I've put the link in the description below, but let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go to your WordPress dashboard and go to plugins and click add new and search for post SMTP and click install now. Once it's installed, click Activate. And then once you've activated, go and click Settings for the Post SMTP plugin. Click Start the Wizard. Now this is the email, this is the address that the email is going to be coming from. So there's my address there and the name that I want it to show up as in the email that I send which host will relay the email. We're going to use this one here, the smtp.gmail.com. And we're going to leave it as, the pre, as it is pre-selected there, the Gmail API. Click Next. All right, so it's at this point, what we need to do is switch over to the Google Developer Console, because what we basically need to do is tell WordPress or tell Gmail rather that it's okay for WordPress to send emails using our account. So I've put a link to the Google Developer Console in the link below or you can just Google it. Sign into your regular Gmail account. And up the top where it says Enable APIs and services. We're going to click that. And we're going to choose Gmail API. Now at this point, it may ask you to enable um, the APIs. If it does, just click enable. It's fine. You can see mine is al already enabled. And I'm going to click manage. Then you can see up here, there's a button here on the right that says create credentials. I'm going to click that button. All right, so I'm going to leave it there as the Gmail API, which API you are using. And here what you want to do is select Web Browser JavaScript for where will you be calling the API from. And we're going to be accessing user data. So select that option, then click what credentials do I need? We need to give our credential a name. So I'm going to call it website email SMTP. Now the authorized JavaScript origins is simply the domain of your website, but we can get this information from over here uh, from the screen in our dashboard for the SMTP plugin. So I can just copy that if I need to and paste it directly in there. Now the authorized redirect URL is again back over in our WordPress dashboard. Here it is right here, authorized redirect URL. I'm going to copy that, go back over to the Gmail screen paste it down here, then hit Create Client ID. Now at this point, I'm going to click Done. And there it is. There's our credential that's been created. So I'm going to click it to go back into it. And you'll see here you have a Client ID and Client Secret. We're going to need that. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back into my website and paste in here the Client ID. 
and the client secret as well. Paste in there. To click next, and you're done. That's it. It's as simple as that. Click finish. Now there's actually one more step. We have to grant permission with Google. So you, after you click finish, you'll see here in the post SMTP setup. I'm going to, you'll see this notification up here. I'm going to click grant permission with Google. And it's going to ask me which account. I have a few different accounts and it's not that one. It is uh, this guy right here. And I'll click next and next. And if you get this screen, you can tell it to go ahead. And all it's asking to do is use the details from my website. I'm going to click allow. Authorization was successful, ready to send an email. So let's test this out in real time. I'll, I'll go to my I'll go to my own website here and I'll go to the contact form. Let's test this out. Well, there's an email telling me that it's set up, but I'm going to test this out. My name is Alex. That's a different email address I have. And hi, this is a test. Submit that. And I should get a notification at any moment telling me that this was a big success. And there it is right there. So that's it. I hope that was really helpful to you. It solved all my email problems for me. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the, um, in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, if you like the video, hit like and subscribe and thanks very much. I hope you have a great day.